I've just found the fastest way to learn to code in 2025 for completely free. Hi, I'm Ishan and imagine having an AI assistant by your side at all times, which can see your screen and can help you with learning anything. It can help you tell you what code to write. It can debug your code. It can explain any error that you're facing. And in general, just be your coding companion live for completely free. That is the promise of Google AI Studio, which is a free platform that anyone can use by Google to use Gemini and its capabilities. Especially today, we'll be touching upon screen real-time feature. I'll show you what it can do to help you learn to code better, fix all of your bugs, build anything that you want to using Gemini and Google AI Studio. And at the end, I'll also show you what other things you can accomplish just by using screen real-time by Google AI Studio in your your own laptop for completely free. Watch till the end, there's so much to learn in this video. And let me stop talking and start showing you the platform that Google AI Studio is all about. So this is Google AI Studio and you can access it by going to the website aistudio.google.com. Now there are a couple of things over here that you can look at. First of all is create prompt, which can help you to create custom models, which can help you do particular things. Like for example, helping you with research, helping you with creating recipes. But the one we'll be looking at today is screen real time. And this is basically allowing Gemini to interact with you by talking to you, by showing Gemini anything through your camera and asking it questions about that. Or lastly, sharing your own screen and asking any question about what is on the screen and Gemini will talk to you in real time and help you solve anything that you want to. Screen Real Time by Google AI Studio is easily the craziest free AI tool I've ever come across and very few people know about it. I don't know why. I'll show you how to use it. But other than that, you can also create your own applications by using Gemini's other multimodal capabilities. You can also fine tune your model. You can connect it with Google Drive and use other assets that you have. You can also get access to the API documentation and start using Gemini API if that's what you want to do. Let's say you know nothing about code, but you want to create a clone of the Bumble app in which you can swipe right and swipe left and you can super like as well. So that is the feature that you want to create. And you've made a simple folder, but you don't know what to do next. You can actually ask Gemini by sharing your screen about how to build this from scratch and it will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of doing so. So I'll share my screen and then I will ask it to do that. Hey, I'm trying to create a Bumble app uh, interface in which I can swipe right and swipe left and basically create this app from scratch. I know nothing about coding, so take me through this process step-by-step -step and tell me how to do it. Sure, I can help you with that. So you wanna create a Bumble app interface with swipe right and left functionality and you have no prior coding experience. I can guide you through the process step by step. To begin, would you like to use a specific programming language or framework? I don't know, I want to make a website, so you tell me what is the right way to go about it. Okay, you'd like to create a website for your Bumble app interface. Since you are new to coding, a good starting point would be using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Do you want me to explain what these are and how we can use them to create your website? Yeah, sure, explain me while telling me what to actually do the actions. If I have to make a new file, if I have to write some code, tell me about it and explain me what we are doing while I'm doing it. Sure, I understand. I will explain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and walk you through each step as we use them to create your website. Now, AI tools like Google AI Studio is changing the way we work and learn, whether it is coding, designing, or even marketing. But AI is only as powerful as the data it learns from. That is exactly why businesses today need first-party data. This is all the information collected from the customer with their consent through things like email, newsletter subscriptions, reward programs, or purchase history. And all of this can help you make informed decisions. Surprisingly, only 16% of marketers have the reliable first party data to effectively sell products and services to their customers. And if you want to be a part of that 16%, HubSpot in collaboration with Google Ads has come up with a free report called as the State of Privacy First Advertising. It's an in-depth report which talks about how successful marketers are using first party data by leveraging HubSpot's Google Ads integration to drive some serious business growth. This report is a game changer, revealing how to overcome challenges with getting good quality data and building trust with customers. Developing smart strategies to increase your Google Ads conversion and improve your ROI. And lastly, unlocking incredible results. Marketers who use this data are 225% more likely to achieve 
their goals. I personally like the part where the report discusses the step-by-step -step process to help you get started with using first-party data. And the best part is you can get access to all of these insights for absolutely free. So if you are ready to transform your marketing, download the report for free using the link in my description. And now let's get back to the video. To begin, let's create a new file in your versus code. Can you see the new file button under the start section on the screen? Yep. Great. Click on that button and a new file will be opened. Mm -hmm. I will then explain the next steps for this file. What should be the file called? Let's call this file index. HTML, this will be the main page of your website. Type index, H-H-O-M-T-M-L into the text box and then we can proceed from there. Okay, I now have a file called index.html. What to do next? Perfect. Now, let's start writing some HTML code in this file. HML is the basic structure of every web page. Type and press tab. This should generate a basic HTML structure in your file. I'll explain the different parts as you see them. I should type what? Type and then press the tab key. This is an abbreviation for versus code that generates an HTML document boilerplate, which is a basic HTML document structure. Mm. Okay, but what does this really mean? Can you explain me every tag from scratch? Yes, I can certainly explain each tag from scratch. Let's start with the first line. The less than doc type HTML greater than tag tells the browser that this is an HTML5 document. It's not really a tag, it's a declaration that we need to include. Okay, anyways, so uh, tell, me, tell me how to build the Bumble app interface that I want to build. No problem, we can get back to building the Bumble app interface. We need to add the actual content within the less than body greater than tags. I will show you how we can add the elements and make them interactive. Before that though, let me explain a little about the other tags here. Does that sound good? Uh, sure, but, but make it quick and I want to get back to making the interface. Sure thing, let's keep it brief. The less than HTML lang equals quote unquote greater than tag tells the browser that this is an HTML document. Okay, the less than head greater than tag contains meta information about the HTML document, mm -hmm. like character sets, viewport settings, which make the website responsive, and title, which is displayed on the browser tab. The okay, main okay, of the web page okay, the... skip You interface UI bana sakta from scratch. Okay, okay, let's move on to the less than body greater than tag. Kya aap mujhe Hindi this is where all the sakte content ho? that appears on the मैं अभी केवल अंग्रेजी में बात कर सकता हूँ कुछ लेकिन मैं आपकी मदद करने की पूरी कोशिश करूँगा या आप चाहते हैं कि मैं अंग्रेजी में ही आगे बढ़ूँ या आप किसी दूसरी भाषा में कोशिश करना चाहेंगे हिंदी में ही बात करो मुझे बताओ कि ये बंबल आप का यूआई कैसे बना सकता हूँ मैं जरूर मैं आपको हिंदी में ही बताने की कोशिश करूँगा जैसा कि मैंने बताया लेस देन बॉडी ग्रेटर देन टैग के अंदर हम अपनी वेब पेज की सामग्री डालेंगे तो चलिए हम एच में वो सब लिखना शुरू करते हैं जो हम अपनी बंबल ऐप के यू में दिखाना चाहते हैं पर क्योंकि मैं केवल अंग्रेजी समझता हूँ मैं आपको अंग्रेजी में बताऊंगा पर साथ साथ अनुवाद करूंगा क्या ये ठीक रहेगा हाँ ठीक है जल्दी जल्दी करो थोड़ा लेस देन बॉडी ग्रेटर देन टैग के अंदर हम कुछ एच एलिमेंट्स जोड़ेंगे पहले हम एक लेस देन डेव ग्रेटर देन टैग डालते हैं ये एक कंटेनर की तरह होता है जिसमें हम दूसरे एलिमेंट्स रख सकते हैं तो टाइप करें लेस देन डेव ग्रेटर देन और फिर लेस देन स्लैश डेव ग्रेटर देन उसके बीच में एक लेस देन एच वन ग्रेटर देन ये टैग हैडिंग के लिए होता है और इसके बीच में आप बम्बल लिखें इस कोड को लेस देन डिव ग्रेटर देन और लेस देन स्लैश डिव ग्रेटर देन के बीच में लिखें सो एज यू कैन सी इट गिव्स यू एग्जैक्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर वॉट कोड टू राइट एंड वॉट दैट कोड रियली मीन्स नॉट एस हैव अ लुक एट हाउ कैन यू डी बग एनी एरर्स दैट यू आर फेसिंग इन योर ओन फाइल फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव द सिंपल प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ अ गेम यूजिंग पाइथन सो आई विल शेयर द स्क्रीन एंड आई विल आस्क जेम एन आई इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दिस कोड Hi, I'm trying to run this program. Can you tell me how to execute this particular file? Sure, I can help with that. To execute the Python program, you'll need to use the command line interface. In the terminal, you need to type python main dot py and then press enter. This should run the program. Do you need any further assistance? There is some problem with this code. Can you help me figure out what is wrong? Okay, I can look at the output and help you with the error. The error message libprem warning, iccp. Known incorrect sRGB profile is not a critical error, and the program should still run. However, if you are experiencing issues beyond this warning, you may need to investigate the code further. Are you having a different problem from this? Um, it looks fine. Can you explain me what this whole main.py file does? Certainly. 
the main. PY file appears to be the core of a car racing game built with the Pygame library. It initializes the game window and sets up the game elements, including the player's car and enemy cars, along with their positions. Would you like me to elaborate on any part of it? Yeah, tell, tell me more about what is this class car racing and what does this DEF and init and initialize mean? Certainly. The class car racing is a blueprint for creating car racing game objects. Def underscore underscore in it and underscore 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 self is the constructor of the class. It's a special method which is called when an object is created and it is used to initialize the attributes of the object. Then def initialize self is another method that is defined to perform additional initialization of the object after the object is created. Would you like me to go into more detail about these concepts? I think that should be all. Thank you. It can also tell you what this particular code does and what it really means. So if you have a problem with understanding code bases, now you have AI assistant which can help you with that in real time. Now I can even ask it to help me out with learning video editing. I can basically just start a new stream. I can share my entire screen, open up Final Cut Pro. Hey, I'm trying to edit this video. Um, can you tell me what do you see on your screen and how can I start cutting this video? Sure, I can help with that. I see that you are using Final Cut Pro, and there is a timeline at the bottom with a series of video clips. The main viewing screen shows a skyline of a city, and the right-hand panel displays transform options. Do you have a specific section of the video you want to cut? I'm trying to zoom in in this video clip in Final Cut Pro. Can you help me guide with this process? Sure, I can help you with that. To zoom in on a video clip in Final Cut Pro, you will want to select the clip in your timeline, then, in the inspector on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a section labeled Transform. In the Transform section, increase the scale value to zoom in on your clip. You can learn any software that you want to as well. So let's do that. Hey, I'm trying to understand how to use OBS to record my screen. Can you guide me through the process? Sure, I can help you with that. To record your screen with OBS, you'll first need to add a source to your scene. You can do this by clicking the plus button under the do Sources Do you see the section, sources then that I have added? Display Capture or window capture, depending on what you want to record. Okay, so after clicking the plus button, you'll need to select display capture. Do you see that option? Yeah, I see that option, but I already have some sources selected in my source panel. Can you see that? Yes. I see that you already have display capture two feet and display capture added as sources. To start recording, you can simply click the start recording button on the right side of the window. You see that button? I can only see a stop recording button. Okay. It looks like you are already recording. The stop recording button indicates that the recording is currently in progress. Is there anything else you'd like help with? That's it. Um, I also want to know how to use this platform in front of my screen. Can you see it? Yes. I see the Google AI Studio platform in front of your screen. Do you have a specific question about how to use it? How do I use the screen real-time feature? Okay, the stream real-time feature in Google AI Studio allows you to interact with the model in real time. To use it, you'll need to provide system instructions or a prompt, and then you can send text to the chat box at the bottom of the screen. Are you able to see that chat box? Hey, can you tell me what video I should watch if I am into technology on YouTube? Sure, based on your interest in technology, I would suggest watching the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra Review, The Tables Have Turned video. Would you like me to suggest other videos? Hey, can you tell me how to use this application? Sure, I can help with that. This application, called Napkin, takes text and turns it into visuals. Is there anything specific you'd like to know how to do within the application? Yeah, give me an example of how can I turn anything into a visual. Certainly, let me provide an example. First, you'll need to have some text you want to turn into a visual. Then, you would paste that text into the application and select a visual style. The app will generate visuals for you based on your text. Does that help you understand the process? Yep, thank you. Now, all of this looks really impressive, but how does it really work? Well, it takes screenshots and videos of whatever you're sharing, and it then analyzes that and then comes up with answers to whatever you're asking that is on your screen. Or if you share your camera, so it'll take screenshots of whatever is visible in front of the camera and will give you feedback and answers to any question you've asked about that picture or that video in front of the camera. That's essentially how screen real time works. There is so many applications to it. You can use it to learn video editing. You can use it to ask questions about Canva and how to build anything with it. You can ask it any questions about Microsoft Excel. 
essentially anything that you want to do, any software you want to learn, you can now have an AI assistant, a companion by your side at all times, which can help you learn that in minutes. What's even more remarkable is that it gives you all of this for completely free. So check out Google AI Studio yourself. Tell me in the comments, what will you learn using Google AI Studio? Do you want to learn to code? Do you want to learn video editing? Do you want to learn any other software? Let me know in the comment section below. Send this video to a friend. Write in the comment section, I was till the very end and I will see you all in the next video.